It's Wes Butters here, and today, whilst we're stuck in a wet West Yorkshire, a man is setting off on a 783-mile bike ride from Brighouse to France today. Dom Stables is a filmmaker who's made a film along with his friend Paul Drury uh, called Orange Fever, and they're both heading to Cannes to try and raise funds for the film, which they've described as men behaving badly for the Facebook generation. Dom is doing the cycling, and Paul, I believe your support. That's it, Wes. That's right. All right. Morning to you as well, Dom. Morning, mate. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? It's nice and sunny down here in London. Right. So now, you're in London at the moment, so but you set off from Brighouse. Yeah, yeah, we're setting up from Brighouse on the 5th of May. Okay. And um, then we're off. A trip to Cannes. So, you're coming back from London to go back down via London, presumably, to go then on to France. Yeah, Wes, we wanted to set uh, we wanted to set off on the Tour de Tam to France from Brighouse because that's really the sort of spiritual home of Orange Fever. It's where Dom grew up, and the, the whole film is kind of a love letter to a sort of a northern comedy. So we wanted to kind of come back to Brighouse, have a big party with all our friends, everyone who's helping support to make the film, and then yeah, set off with a big fanfare. Have you made it already, the film? No, we're actually cycling to France to uh, raise finance and also uh, seal the deal to get the uh, production um, up and running, basically. Okay. Uh, the film is is happening, we're making it in January, but we want to just get to, get to Cannes to kind of kickstart the publicity and get and get really get things moving. Yeah. And also, get everyone in the film industry talking about Orange Fever. What, what is Orange Fever, then? Describe the premise of the film. Well, it's like, it's perhaps like the in-betweeners in tone. Um, at heart, the film's a love story. It's about two likely lads on a mission to find love. They try singing, dancing, and even fake tanning. It always goes wrong, but they find redemption in the most unlikely place. All right, and it's all set in Yorkshire. Yeah, it's set in Brighouse, where I'm from, and Leeds, which is good. Supporting the local people, really, that's where I'm from. Yeah, Making a good film like Brast Off. Yeah. Wanted, really. And, uh, w I mean, aesthetically, I, 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 I guess, uh, you know, Yorkshire is a very, very picturesque, beautiful place. Uh, and aesthetically, on screen, I guess you'd bring that alive, too. You, you, you'd be able to transfer it to the big screen. Absolutely, absolutely. Like I said, this film's going to be really like a love letter to uh, Yorkshire. It's, it's where we're both from, and it's what we want to... It's what we want to celebrate on screen also, not only the way Yorkshire looks, but also that sort of unique sense of humour. Uh, this film's really going to celebrate that in a totally unique way, so and you, we're all really excited about it. Are you using uh, Yorkshire actors and uh, Yorkshire crew? We are. We can't reveal that until Cam, but we've got some really um, exciting names in the frame, so uh, as soon as we get to Cannes and the film festival kicks off, we're going to let everyone know. OK, now why do you cycle to Cannes? I mean, why, why cycle? Uh, is it obviously to, to, to is it obvi an obvious answer, really, just to generate uh, a bit of intrigue and get some publicity? Well, I'm a big fan of cycling myself, and I just thought we'd try and do what the Great Forest Gump did instead of running, because I'm not really that fit to run. I'd do it on a bike like the Tour de France and just cycle my way down there. And I like a little bit of wine as well, so we'll stop off for a couple of <laughs> couple of reds on the way, I reckon. Be careful that I, th I think I, I might be wrong on this. I think you can still get done for for riding a bike drunk. I'm sure you can. Well, we will see what happens so you, there. You want to be careful with that. And uh, when you get to Cannes, finally, a few punctures and uh, and things later, and you get to <laughs> Cannes in France, what are you going to do when you're there? When you're there? Oh, Wes, we've got, um, we've got three major parties lined up, actually. We've got a party in Brighouse on the 4th where we've got a band, but we're working, we're working with a really talented local musician called Roger Davis who's given us a song for the film as well. Uh, so he's coming to Brighouse for the party there. Then we've got a major event at a cinema in London. And at Cannes, we've got a film industry party. So we've got the sort of great and the good of the film industry coming down, really going to pitch uh, Orange Fever hard to them there. And is it a tandem you're going on? Uh, I believe, uh, Dom, you're doing the cycling, but Paul, what's your job? Your support, aren't you? That's it, yeah. I mean, I've just been working with Dom for about a year now on, on, on the film, so I, I'm just going to be in the office kind of helping, like, make introductions for him on the way, so he's always got somewhere to stay, basically, um, help with the publicity, help get people talking about the film, and, um, yeah, just make sure everything runs all right, and then I'm going to meet him, meet him in Cannes, and we've got a special kind of surprise as he um, arrives on the orange carpet down at Cannes. So, Dom, you're, you're just out there by yourself. I thought when it said Paul's doing support, I imagined him in, in a car behind you, running behind you, uh, you know, topping up your LucasAid. <laughs> no, there'll be no LucasAid, mate. All I hell, I think. But no, I'm going to um, 
Um, yeah, on my own. A yeah. journey. A journey to find myself, I think, as they uh, call it. Well, it sounds fa- fantastic. How would we know, though, if you just secretly thought, oh, sack this, I'm getting the train? I've got no money. I've got a bike and some punches, that's mm. it. A bike and a punch yeah. repair kit, and that's it. that's it. That's all you need, and a couple of wines. <laughs> also, Don't forget with, the um, wines. Y- you know we're not going to be cheating, because you can follow Dom's journey on our website, latordatan.com, and mm. also kind of see it on our Facebook page, Facebook... Uh, dot com orange fever the movie all right so that's latour de tan dot com yeah that's it all right I guys always, i can always ring you words as well from on on the road like they do at marathon i can oh, ring you every morning please do get in touch and we'll, we'll stick you on and we'll find out how you're doing and you can pass you on to my mum <laughs> we can we can do that don't we can indeed, sir. Yeah. we can all right uh dom stables and uh paul i ain't got your surname paul it's Drury. Paul Drury. Yes, I have got your surname. I tell a lie. Paul Drury and Dom Stables, filmmakers, thank you very much for coming on. Cheers, Wed. Stay in here. All the best.